You've been sold a bill of goods. A story that to get jacked, you have to live in the gym, grinding it out every single day with that no days off hashtag permanently etched into your brain. But what if I told you that whole idea, the one plastered all over your social media feed by hustle culture fanatics, is the very thing that's killing your gains? What if the real secret to unlocking insane muscle growth isn't more training, but smarter rest? Seriously, the fitness world has pushed this myth of daily beatdowns, and it's leading tons of dedicated people straight to burnout, injury, and soul-crushing plateaus. Today we're taking a sledgehammer to that myth. We're going to use actual science to show you how strategic rest days will get you better, faster results than a seven-day workout week ever could. So stick around, because what you're about to learn is going to completely flip your training philosophy on its head. So where did this crazy idea that we have to train daily even start? It's a tempting thought, right? It's a mashup of old-school bodybuilding legends and our modern obsession with the grind. We see fitness influencers posting their hashtag daily workout, and the message feels crystal clear. More is always more. The whole no pain, no gain thing has been hammered into our heads for so long that we think being exhausted and sore 24-7 means we're making progress. And let's be real. Hitting the gym every day feels like you're doing something right. You get a sick pump, you break a sweat, you feel like you're earning it. But feelings aren't facts. Your body doesn't run on motivational quotes. It runs on biology. Believing you need to constantly break yourself down to build yourself up is one of the biggest, most damaging lies in fitness. In fact, that deep muscle soreness you might be chasing it's not a badge of honor or a reliable sign of muscle growth, it's just muscle damage. And yeah, you need a little damage to spark growth, but constantly causing it without giving your body time to fix it is like picking at a scab over and over, hoping it'll heal faster. It's never going to happen. This obsession with daily training completely ignores the most important part of the muscle building puzzle, which we're about to solve right now. The real driver of muscle growth. Volume, not just frequency. If hitting the gym seven days a week isn't the key, what is? The answer, my friend, is a concept that scientists and elite coaches all agree on. It's the undisputed king of gains, total weekly training volume. Think of it like this. Total weekly volume is just the grand total of work you put your muscles through in a week. It's a simple formula. The weight you lift times the reps you do times the sets you complete. That final number is the main signal that tells your body, hey, we need to get bigger and stronger to handle this. Now here's the mind-blowing part, backed by mountains of research. As long as your total weekly volume is the same, how many days you spread it across doesn't really matter that much for muscle growth. A giant scientific review confirmed this showing that whether you cram your work into a few days or spread it thin across many, the results are shockingly similar. Let's imagine your biceps need a growth delivery of 12 tough sets every week to get bigger. Does it really matter if you get that delivery in two big boxes of six sets each or six tiny envelopes with two sets each? From a pure growth standpoint, science says not really, as long as the full 12 sets get there. The goal isn't just to show up, it's to make sure each muscle gets its perfect dose of volume. Trying to do that every single day often leads to what we call junk volume. Sloppy, tired sets that do nothing but pile on fatigue. So the question you should be asking isn't, am I training every day? It should be, am I hitting enough quality weekly volume? Research suggests the sweet spot for most people is in the neighborhood of 10 to 20 hard sets per muscle group each week. And as you're about to see, you absolutely do not need to train daily to hit that target. The science of recovery. Why rest days are actually growth days. This is it. The most misunderstood secret in all of fitness. You don't build muscle in the gym. You build muscle when you rest. 
When you lift weights, you're creating tiny micro tears in your muscle fibers. That's the stimulus. That's you placing an Amazon order for more muscle. But the actual package delivery, the repair and rebuilding process that makes those fibers grow back thicker and stronger, happens after you leave the gym while you're recovering. This whole repair process has a fancy name, muscle protein synthesis, MPS. After a good workout, your body cranks up MPS and it stays elevated for about 24 to 48 hours. This is your biological growth window. During this time, your body is frantically using the protein you eat to patch up the damage and add brand new muscle. So what happens if you just ignore that window and blast the same muscle again the next day? You're basically hitting the pause button on that crucial repair cycle. You're tearing down the muscle again before it's even finished rebuilding. It's like a construction crew laying down a new layer of bricks, and you show up and start kicking them over. This is exactly what leads to overtraining. It's not just about feeling a little sleepy. It's a full body shutdown with crippling fatigue, tanking performance, messed up hormones, and a sky high risk of injury. It's the fastest way to spin your wheels and waste all your hard work. Rest days aren't lazy. They're a biological command. They are literally the days your body builds the muscle. Think of them as growth days, not off days. So how often should you train? The real deal answer. Okay, let's finally answer the million dollar question. Based on all this science, what's the perfect training frequency? For building maximum muscle, the science is clear. Hitting each muscle group two to three times per week is way better than those old school bro splits where you only train a muscle once a week. Research shows that hitting a muscle more often gives you more chances to spike that all-important muscle protein synthesis and allows for better quality workouts. But there's a limit. Pushing it beyond three times a week for the same muscle doesn't seem to add any extra magic for most people, especially if the total weekly volume is the same. Let's break it down by experience. For beginners, you're a newbie, so your muscles will grow if you just look at a dumbbell. Hitting each muscle twice a week is fantastic, but even one great full body workout can kickstart serious gains. A two to three day full body routine is the perfect starting point. For intermediate lifters, this is where training each muscle group two times per week becomes the undisputed champ. It's the sweet spot for giving your muscles a powerful growth signal while still allowing for full recovery. For advanced lifters, pros can sometimes benefit from hitting a muscle up to three times per week, but their program has to be incredibly smart to manage fatigue. Honestly, many advanced athletes stick with a two times frequency because it lets them go harder in each session. Notice what's missing from every single one of these evidence-backed plans? Training a muscle every single day. The data points to a total of three to five well-planned workout days per week as the money zone for most people trying to build muscle. This gives you all the stimulus you need and guarantees you get those non-negotiable growth days. Building your perfect, rest-packed training split. Knowing the rules is one thing, but using them is what counts. So how do you actually set up your week to hit that 2x frequency and still have a life? Here are a few awesome science-approved training splits. The full body split, three days a week. This is a beast for getting results efficiently. You train your whole body every session. Example, workout Monday, rest Tuesday, workout Wednesday, rest Thursday, workout Friday, rest Saturday and Sunday. Bam, every muscle gets hit three times with a full 48 hours to recover in between. Perfect for beginners or anyone who's short on time. The upper lower split, four days a week. This is probably the gold standard for intermediates and a favorite of pro coaches for a reason. Two days for your upper body, two for your lower body. Example, Monday, upper, Tuesday, lower, Wednesday, rest, Thursday, upper, Friday, lower, weekend, rest. 
This setup lets you hammer every muscle group twice a week with focused work and gives you plenty of time to grow. The push-pull leg split, the smart way. The classic PPL can be run to hit everything twice a week. Instead of a rigid three-on-one-off schedule, you can structure it over the week. Example, Monday, push, Tuesday, pull, Wednesday, legs, Thursday, rest, Friday, push, Saturday, pull, with Sunday for legs or rest. This ensures every muscle is getting that critical second growth signal each week. The common denominator in all of these powerful programs? They are built around strategic rest. They demand that your muscles get at least one, and ideally two, full days to recover before getting hit again. What about cardio and active recovery? Okay, common question. Do my rest days mean I have to become a professional couch potato? Absolutely not. This is where active recovery comes into play. Active recovery is just doing low effort stuff like going for a walk, some light stretching, foam rolling, or a chill bike ride. The idea is to get blood flowing to your muscles, which helps deliver nutrients and flush out junk without causing more damage. It can actually speed up the healing process. And what about cardio? Is it the ultimate gains killer? For 99% of us, the answer is a hard no. Doing a moderate amount of cardio is great for your heart and won't sabotage your muscle growth. The trick is to be smart. Don't do a brutal hit session the day before you're supposed to squat heavy. The best plan is to do cardio on separate days or after your weight training, not before. The only time it's a real issue is if you're an elite power lifter or you're doing insane amounts of endurance training where the total fatigue can start getting in the way. For everyone else, a few cardio sessions a week is just a healthy part of a killer plan. So let's land the plane here. Do you really need to train every day to build muscle? The science screams a definitive, absolute no. In fact, it's probably holding you back. Let's recap the new rules of muscle building, the ones based on facts, not fiction. Ditch the no days off mentality. It's a myth and it's time to let it go. Your potential is waiting on the other side. Obsess over total weekly volume. This is the real MVP of muscle growth. Aim for that 10 to 20 high quality set range per muscle group each week. Fall in love with rest. Your muscles grow on the couch, not in the squat rack. Rest days are growth days, period. Train muscles two to three times per week. This is the scientifically proven frequency for almost everyone. Now I want to hear from you. What's your current training split look like? Are you getting enough rest? Or have you been stuck in the train daily trap? Drop it in the comments below and let's figure out how to get you on the fast track to gains. If this video shattered a fitness myth you believed, do me a solid and smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. We're all about giving you evidence-based fitness advice with zero hype and zero nonsense. Thanks for hanging out and remember to train smart.